Hello, we are Cognitive. My name is Dave, and I'm going to be talking about how we found remote working. We're a white one animation studio based in Folkestone's Creative Quarter, and we're probably most well known for the RSA Animates. We've been working remotely since the end of March, and technology has been a massive part in our transition. Like everyone, we've embraced Zoom, and it has allowed us to keep in touch with clients and each other in an almost real life way. Slack has also been fundamental and between the two of these we've been able to communicate and keep in touch smoothly and efficiently. But one area where we haven't been able to have such success is our server. The server is normally a direct connection and unfortunately the re remote access has not yet worked. So we've tried things like Dropbox but they just don't have the same effectiveness. So one area we're still battling is the server. and Hopefully it will be resolved soon. A creative process that depends on Zoom in a remote world and this is in two functions. One is when we talk to our clients so we can truly understand what they have to say and what they want us to create because there are some things you can't communicate in an email. And another is our creative meetings with each other, where we take a script and turn it into a storyboard. We call these swarms, and everyone involved shares their ideas and develops these. And Zoom has been great to, in its way of keeping these happening. But one area, again, where we've struggled is message blur. As all the projects become one, and it can be hard to separate them. We can lose track. Another issue we've found is that it can be hard to explain small details, which, whilst being very small and intricate and delicate, can really transform an idea or an image. And something about the digital remote connection just makes it harder to get that across. But overall, it's been relatively seamless taking the creative process into the remote world. They say that creativity needs restriction. And whilst we've found that whiteboard animation is in demand and a very effective way of communicating in this situation, we've still been able to adapt. One of those ways has been our infographic process because in a fast moving world like the one we've been living in recently, these need to be responsive and current and it's allowed us to create infographics like this, which I'm just going to show you now on my, change my background. So we've been able to create these infographics and this one for instance is about crisis fatigue, which is perfect for now. It's something we're all experiencing in our various ways. And this sums up the essence of an infographic, succinct, relevant and information packed. So the, changes we've made have made our infographics more like this and also the design element we've added makes them better for social media as well. We've also worked on digital scribing. It was in the wings but we've brought it forward. It is the online adaptation of live scribing and allows talks and meetings to be given that little extra something as you explain your ideas and I'm just going to share a video now on my screen which is from our recent digital scribe for the caffeine partnership on purpose-led business, which our scribe Tom created. So I'm just going to find that for you now. And this is him capturing this talk in real time. And as you can see, it uses text and images, metaphors to really embed the message and bring it home. It also creates lasting materials that people can reuse, whether it's the film itself or assets for social media. So it does a lot to give a talk long lasting impact really. So we're a big fan of it and it's really been brought forward to meet coronavirus. This here, this is going to show this before I leave the screen, it's one of my favourite bits of visual thinking in a while. It is describing IBM's evolution through the decades. 
and this sums up visual thinking really the translating an idea from an abstract perhaps or something quite dry into this rich and engaging so we've adapted and grown as a, as a result of all this but the biggest area that we've grown in is probably our own self-management and well-being because isolation and lockdown have been a big test of this so we've had to get good at managing our own our own self and that is involved with after our well-being and there are little things you can do like getting dressed in the morning something as simple as that creating that boundary and that distinction of the day and creating other boundaries between the environment and also time frames in the day exercise is very important it, managing our well-being man, balancing our emotions and screen breaks this is something i have had to practice where in the office you just get up and move around quite often talk to people at home i at least sit at the screen a lot and don't move so much and i feel the fatigue as a result so getting up regularly and just re refreshing the eyes stretching the legs is is essential and this is advice that we obviously follow but also put into an infographic we based it on a bbc article which was full of great advice and we created this infographic which i'm just going to share with you now and it sums it up really it's three panels which bring across this key advice in a succinct way and really make it perfect for social media and getting these points across that are really relevant for now and who knows how far into the future but we've also moved beyond the individual and tried to recapture the studio environment with our meetings where we've used breakout rooms to talk to people wouldn't we talk to because we work directly with people every day in our own teams or our own projects but if you don't work with them directly it'd be easy in this world to not see some of the people in the team so a few of the breakout rooms we've been able to connect and keep in touch almost like back in the studio we've also used um, quizzes these are fun things in the afternoon normally which just break up the day and add a bit of humor and lightness and also more time to connect and we found that these have been good morale boosters so i think in summary this challenge has shown us that we are agile and we have all the skills and tools we need really to adapt to remote working but most importantly it's shown us that we need each other we need connection and the absence of that is is hard and i think that is something which going forward will stay with us thank you for watching i hope you're all well and you stay safe and take care